So I decided to sell consulting.com to this guy and I refunded my entire mastermind, Quantum. And I decided to cancel my podcast after three episodes and building a studio. And I basically decided to burn my ships and go all in on school. And in today's video, I'm going to show you why I did all of that, my plan for 2023, the vision for school, and how you can be a part of it. So why did I sell consulting.com and, you know, cancel everything, do all of that? Well, there's this basic matrix that I find quite helpful in business. And, you know, this on this x-axis, you've got cash generation. You know, some some business units or products or whatever, they generate a high amount of cash or a low amount of cash, right? How much cash does it bring in? Then on this y-axis, you've got, you know, cash usage. Some things require a lot of cash and some things require very little. And you typically have a product or a business that's a star, a question mark, a dog, or a cash cow, right? Now, at one point, consulting.com was a star. It was generating a high amount of cash, but it was also using a high amount of cash, right? But I was starting to kind of hit a ceiling with it. And so then I basically uh, decided to move consulting.com down to a cash cow, where I cut a lot of the costs out of it, made it very efficient on cash, um, but it still brought in quite a lot of cash flow. So it was bringing in a lot, but costing not much. That's what you call a cash cow. And when you have a cash cow, they're very good for funding question marks. So that's why I started school about three and a half years ago. And, you know, the thing about a new business or a new product or whatever is it generally starts in a position that is, it's not generating much cash or anything really, but it's costing a lot of cash. So cash generation is low and cash usage is high, right? So it's a question mark. And that's why it's a beautiful thing to combine one of these with a cash cow. So basically consulting.com was funding school for three and a half years. And then, you know, we get to a certain point and school kind of moves into the star position, right? So school is, you know, three and a half years old now. It's generating its own income. It's growing very fast. And, you know, I ended up in this position where I've got a star and a cash cow. But then you you end up having a problem with focus, right? Because if the thing, if, if school is generating cash and using it, then it can kind of pay for itself. So, you know, then you you have a problem with splitting your focus, you know, running two things at the same time. And to be quite honest with you, this was very hard and very painful, and I did it for three and a half years, running two companies, you know, running one consulting.com to generate all this money and then spending it all over in school. And, you know, that was very painful for, for three and a half years, but it just had to be done. But just, you know, recently, I decided to basically sell console.com and just end up with one chess piece on the on the board, school, right? So that's why I did it. And, you know, I've told you in my previous videos, but this is one of my favorite diagrams. It's all about focus. You know, you only have so much energy. And let's say this is one unit of energy going in, I don't know how many arrows there are here, say there's 10, right? If you've got one unit of energy going in 10 directions, you're only going to make one inch of progress but in 10 different directions right however if you if you cut all of those off and you just focus on one thing you can make like 10 inches of progress with the same amount of energy this is how focus works and that is why i decided to you know sell consulting.com and just go all in on school so that is basically you know why i sold it and if you go to consulting.com now, you, you there's a little video I shot with the new owner, Rian Doris. And, you know, I tell you the story about how it happened. And he tells you what his plans are for it. So if, you, if you're interested in seeing that, go over to consulting.com and you can see that. I also decided to, you know, refund the mastermind because, you know, I over the break, I had some time to think and... I realized that I'd, my focus has, had really gotten scattered last year. You know, I was doing too many things, 
Like I was running a mastermind, helping other people with their businesses. I was also building school, which is becoming more and more demanding as it grows and the team gets bigger. And I was also doing a podcast and it was just too much, I realized. I just needed to focus. And, you know, when the thing about focus, the thing why I think most people are bad at it is because it requires sacrifice. And most people just aren't willing to, to let go. So over the break, I, you know, I did some, some thinking and I was like, all right, well, what's the main thing? What's the most important thing? It's school. Okay. Well, anything that isn't school, got to go. And that's why I refunded the mastermind and canceled the podcast. You know, the podcast, the idea was to talk to people in the space and everything and, and, and basically hang out. But what I noticed is that my mind, even when I wasn't doing the podcast, my mind was thinking about the podcast. I was like, oh, I could have asked that question that way. Or, or next time someone comes in, I'm going to pre-frame the conversation in this way. Or, oh, this camera angle should be moved a little bit that way. Or Clint should have done this thing or that thing. And I, you know, before I knew it, my, all of my thoughts were basically consumed with like optimizing the podcast. And I just thought, this isn't right. You know, like I'm building school and with school, the most important thing is the product. So if my mind isn't thinking about the product, then I'm distracted. And so it had to go. So I canceled the podcast. Sorry about that, guys. You got three episodes. And that's basically why, you know, soulconsong.com, refunded the mastermind, canceled the podcast, burned my ships and went all in on school. Now, let's talk about the plan. So what is my plan for 2023? Now that I've gotten rid of all of this stuff and I'm all in and what is it? Well, it's really all about community. And I kept having this kind of image or vision in my head when I was on the Christmas break of like a beating heart in the middle, a community, right? And everything comes from this. So. I'm going to be focusing on our community and I'm going to be listening to feedback and then I'm going to be improving the product. You know, I'm basically community is going to be the central point of my focus so that I can listen to feedback and engage with people in the community. And then I'm going to build the product for them, for the community, right? And then I'm going to tell them, Hey, you wanted all of these things. We did them or these things were confusing. We made them better, right? So that's what I'm going to be doing community and product. And my, my plan is if I just keep focusing on the community, listening to their feedback and improving the product, that it will create so much value for the community that they love it so much that they tell their friends. And that is how we will grow. And that's basically my plan. Focus on the community, listen to the people, improve the product, make it so good that they tell their friends and that's how we will grow. And I think I put it more simply here, focus on the community, improve the product, make people happy, so happy they tell their friends. Pretty basic, but easier said than done. And if you wanna know what community I'm gonna be focusing on, it's school community, right? This is a free community, anybody can join, and it's basically where we talk about school, the platform, and how we can improve it, and how different people are using it and all of that. And if you want to check it out, it's public. You can just go check it out. You don't even have to sign up to go and have a look. It's school.com slash community, right? So school.com slash community. You can go there, check it out. That is going to be my central point of focus this year. I'm going to be engaging with people in here, listening to feedback, making the product better, coming back and delivering it to people, and hopefully making things so good that people tell their friends. Now the vision, what is my vision for school and why have I gone so all in on this thing? Well, you know, it all really comes back to where I started my first computer and you know, the, my first computer was, I loved it and it basically just changed my life. And what I loved so much about the computer was the internet. And I always had these obsessions, right? 
So it all starts with, you know, having a computer that's connected to the internet and having a passion for something. And so my first passion was naturally computers, right? And so I found communities online of other computer nerds that wanted to build computers and overclock computers and everything. And that's where I found like my home, basically. I was like, oh my God, there's other people in the world that love doing this. And they want to nerd out about all of this stuff with me. Whereas if I talk about a water-cooled computer to someone else, they just think I'm weird. So, you know, I found this group and then I could nerd out with them online. And it was amazing. It was like I found my Disneyland of like computer nerds, right? And then, you know, later on, it was Counter-Strike. And then I found people in there as well on the online and communities and forums and I made friends we we would play together we even did meetups in real life and again it was awesome and then I got into rock climbing same thing found different you know communities practiced with people and you know went on adventures with people and and everything and it was awesome and then it was car racing I learned how to build a race car and I found people that had different parts. And, you know, I basically taught myself how to do it all and got into a community, went to meetups, went to racetracks, found out everything I needed to know, again, by finding the community. And then eventually it was entrepreneurship. And, you know, when I found that people were basically making a living out of their obsession, that's when I realized, oh, entrepreneurship is for me because I'm very obsessive. I love all of these obscure things, but I never knew you could really make a living doing it. So I, you know, how I got into entrepreneurship was pretty much the same. I went online and I found the community and, you know, there's many entrepreneurship communities, but I found one of them. And then someone in that community was selling a course on how to start a business. And I bought that. And then I, I joined that community and that's, how I learned how to start my first business. And then, you know, eventually my business became teaching other people how to do this, like teaching other people how to build a community and help solve their problems so that you can do it full time, basically. And so, you know, my the story of my whole life is basically me and the computer and the internet, passion for a thing, finding the community and doing it eventually figuring out how to do it full time. And this is basically what it looks like. You know, if I look backwards, this is basically, you know, the pattern that's happened the whole time. So you have a passion for a thing. So this person here has a passion for bees, right? It could be anything, it could be race cars, computers, whatever. So you have a passion for a thing and then you find your community of other people that have a passion for the thing. So this could be a, a you know, people that love bees, right? And then eventually you can get paid to do it full time, right? So you could, if you loved bees so much, what you really want is to not do anything but, but like think about bees, right? So you could figure out how could you make a full time living doing something with bees? And you could find that from the community and then eventually you have everything you need. You've got time, you've got money, these are resources, and you've got your passion for bees. Because when you have a passion for something, you still need money and time. You know, I think probably one of the one of the things that I really that really changed my life is when I got to do what I loved full time and get paid for it, right? That was amazing. It was like the biggest shift in happiness and fulfillment and everything. Because you know, up until a certain point, I had the thing I was passionate about, but I had to do other stuff. I had to go and do my job or I had to go to school or whatever. And those things were painful, but I had to do them. Or, and But if I could have it the way I wanted it, I would just do the thing I was passionate about. But in order for that to happen, you have to get paid for it and you have to do it full time, right? And this is this is basically, you know, what I what I think it looks like. And so the vision with school and the mission with school is to help 1 billion people find their community by helping 1 million creators earn a living building community online. Shh. 
Now, do you want to come for this ride? Do you resonate with what I've been talking about? Are you someone that wants to find their community? Or are you someone that wants to build a community around a thing that you're passionate about? Or, you know, are you just interested in following along with this journey of school and our mission? Well, if you want to come for the ride, I'm going to be focusing on one thing, which I already told you about, school community. So if you want to see what that's about, go to school.com slash community. That's where I'm going to be. And then I'm going to send email newsletter updates. And those are pretty much going to be about what's happening in the community, right? And if you want to join that, you just go to samovens.com slash newsletter. And in this email newsletter, all I'm going to send is updates about the journey and how we're going and cool things that people are doing with school and basically anything related to making this this vision come to life, right? So school.com slash community or email newsletter, samovens.com slash newsletter. And I'm going to upload videos to YouTube sporadically at random whenever I have something interesting to say. And I don't know how often that's going to be. But I'm just going to be focusing on the community, giving people updates, and occasionally uploading a video like this, updating you on how it's going. So if you're interested in coming for the ride, this is what you need to do. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of you know this vision and mission and everything that I just shared with you. Let me know in the comments. 